YouTube, YouTube. In this video, we're gonna install some uh, corner downforce fairings, I wanna say. Um, it's gonna add a little bit of aerodynamics to the bike. I'm gonna be real with you, at high speeds, this bike either needs a steering damper or something to kind of hold it in place. Cause boy, it's easy for the front wheel to get light when you're on hard acceleration. But in this video, I'm just gonna show you guys, I'm gonna add something uh, here to the bike to give it some downforce, to make it a little bit more stable towards the front end at high speeds. Let me show you what I got. Okay, and also what comes in the pack is this is the hardware to mount it to the bike. But I gotta figure out how to put this on, so let me get at least these parts on and I'll show you how to put this, these parts on. See you guys on the set. So the first thing you want to install is this part right here. It's that L bracket. It goes on the side where the uh, clutch is. And it's basically putting these two and that one through that hole. So put this on first and then let's move on to the next step. Right, so the last one goes here. Uh, I'm going to have to make some adjustments to some of these brackets, but this is pretty much the setup right here. Some of them have to be moved. Some of them have to be moved back and forth to align them. But once they're aligned, this cover piece goes on. Let me show you what it looks like. I'm going to be real with you, right? To have this installed, nice right aggressive and then to have this installed nice yeah aggressive like yo you can even keep your frame slider like you don't have to take these off i thought i was gonna have to remove these and not use them again but everything fits you know what i'm saying just keep in mind that that l bracket has to go here you know what i mean and if you have this type of frame then you you know uh, frame slider then you're good the thing is if the bike ever goes down this is going to protect my frame slider but whatever this was cheaper than this you know what I mean? But I feel like I don't have enough aerodynamics. Obviously I have this for aero, this and that. Yeah, but look, 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 look. Look how clean that looks. Probably the only Z900 that looks like this in the States right now. You know what I mean? No Z900 lettering here, no extra graphics. Just plain, clean, simple look. I was thinking to take the ABS off, but it doesn't bother me. Yep. all right. Uh, next, I want some ASV levers, uh, black and red. But so far, I like how it looks. I'm gonna take this off once I do the other side. So let me show you what bolts you have to take off on this side and what bolts you have to put on. It's pretty, pretty, it's a lot easier than the other side. I did the hard side first, you know what I mean? So hang tight. All right, so real quick, so the same thing you do on that side, you're gonna do on this side. This L bracket shape thing goes here that up bolt, that U shape bolt goes here. And then this last crinkety, weird looking bolt. Okay, so real quick, this last one goes, there's a little hole right here. It goes right here, literally. Uh, I got it backwards, but you get what I'm trying to say. So it goes like that, right? So you're gonna put one here with a bolt and a nut. One is gonna go here. And then that last one is gonna go at the very top, and then you're done. So let me let me just bolt this part up real quick, show you what it looks like, and then I'll put on the cover so you can have a better look. <clears throat> All right. So remember that L-shaped bracket that goes here on the brake side. Um, yeah, I know some of you guys might have noticed that I changed out my um, Z900 uh, pegs for some Z pegs for some ZX6R pegs. These match the bike more. Um, I've taken the rears off only because I'm gonna get the blank off plates and I'm gonna get an exhaust for this bike. Uh, but for the most part, this to me feels more uh, stable. Um, it's a little bit vibrating at times, but um, for the most part, I feel more planted with this rear set, I'm sorry, uh, peg than I do with the uh, OEM. All right, so back to this. So just make sure that you put this L one here the curve one the curve one okay so let's make sure you put the l one here put the curve one there and then that straight bent one here and you're good all right so i got these little caps that goes over these but i need to take off this plastic so let me knock this off real quick take the plastic off and put it back on you guys probably already know the color i'll give you a peek i don't really care yeah, i'll give you a peek of what it looks like um I'm gonna tell you now, this material does feel really, really cheap. It's black. That's how it looks, man. I mean, I think it looks pretty good for what it is. Like, if you look at the whole front of the bike, it looks pretty dope. You know what I mean? 
All right, I want to thank you guys for watching this little quick video on how to put, in these, put on these side aerodynamic bearings. You know what I'm starting to think too? Maybe they'll look better without this piece. Like just, just the up bearing parts. Let me take it off and show you what it looks like. That's what it looks like without it. Mm, I really don't like the way this looks. It looks pretty, pretty naked. It looks pretty, pretty like basic. Like it doesn't look like it's a legit, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna put the cover back on, see what that looks like.